Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a memory plan with me and this is for the week of October 5th through the 11th. And um, for this week I have a kit from Sleepbox Paper We. I am so, so sad to announce that her shop has now closed. Um, she let me know a couple weeks ago that she just wasn't able to keep the shop open anymore. And I was so bummed to hear that because I absolutely love her shop and her kits. I've been using them for years now and um, some of my very favorite spreads ever have been using her kits. So um, yeah, I still have quite a few of her kits on hand, so I definitely still wanna use them. This particular one that I'm using this week is called Give Thanks, and it's a very fall-themed kit. Um, so I'm gonna quickly go over what the kit includes. We've got a sheet of these date covers and um, some deco pieces, as well as a three heart checklist. And on this page, we have the eight full boxes. Um, a few of them are quote boxes. So we've got Hello Autumn, It's Fall Y'all, Hello Fall, Pumpkin Spice, and Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart. On this page, we have all the boxes. Um, then we have some washi strips, some sidebar trackers, tech stickers, and then a weekend banner that says thankful. And then on this last page here, we have the bottom washi, a ton of deco stickers, and also some tech stickers as well. Um, this one says autumn, pumpkin, and then give thanks for this one. So it's definitely a kind of Thanksgiving themed kit, but um, I just really felt like using it in October. I feel like these colors are so perfect for this time of year. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. As usual, I'm going to place down my bottom washi and then continue to build my spread from there. I actually filmed this plan with me quite a few weeks ago and just haven't gotten around to editing it. So hopefully I can remember what I've done and this won't be so much of a hot mess. Um, as you guys are probably noticing, I have not been planning as much lately. Um, I've just been super busy with work, so it just hasn't been something that I have time for right now, but um, I am really excited to finally be working on this plan with me and hopefully I can get it up soon. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys who are sticking around even through my periods of inactivity just know that I am so grateful for your support. At this point, I've now placed down the bottom washi and that October script sticker I put on the full box in the top corner, that is in my writing and it's from Planner Just For You. Um, the shop is actually, I think, on break right now because Sophie, the shop owner, just had a baby a few weeks ago and I'm so, so excited for her. Um, her baby is absolutely darling. I've seen a few pictures and yeah, she is just focusing on that for the time being. Um, then moving on to the rest of my sidebar, I decided to use the deco stickers from this kit to create my headers instead of using any of the um, quarter boxes just because there weren't a whole lot of boxes and I really wanted to save them for the actual spread. Um, so as you can see the pumpkin sticker and the give thanks are from the kit and I pulled in a dinner script sticker in my writing from planner just for you. I added a few pieces of deco there at the very bottom because I had a little space left and then I go ahead and move on to the date covers. I decided to pull in some date dots because I figured it would be kind of hard to write over that leafy design. Um, so these ones I pulled in, I believe are from Ruby Trev. I got them so long ago. Um, I'm not sure if her shop is still open, but if it is, I will link it down below. The workout sticker I just placed down in my sidebar is from Right Brain Paper Co. And for this week, I decided not to pull in any foil. I feel like this kit is kind of like an old school planning kit and I just wanted to keep it simple and classic. On Monday, I first placed down a washi strip at the top. I used a Today Script sticker that came with the kit as a header, and then I placed down this really hot munchkin sticker from Once More With Love to mark that we had another heat wave here in Southern California. Um, I had some coffee on Monday, so I used a coffee sticker from Paper and Milk, and those ones are so cute. I love pulling them in during the fall season. That Coffee Monday sticker is from Planner Just For You. And then underneath that, I placed down a half box and a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark that the fourth and fifth graders had returned to school that day. Um, we were starting school in person, which has actually been going really well. We have a lot of safety regulations in place, so I do feel pretty okay being on campus. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mark that. Then I placed down a full box underneath. I went to Target after work, so I used this little credit card sticker from the Sparkly Studio to mark that. And then at the end of the night, I recorded a voiceover. Um, so that sticker is from Love Shira, and I love her hand lettering, but unfortunately, her shop is no longer open. 
On Tuesday, I first started by placing down a full box and I actually switch out that full box later on. So you'll see that towards the end of this spread. I had a really busy day at work on Tuesday with all the kids back. And I believe this is the start of when things start to get really busy at work. That Working Girl sticker I pulled in is from Happy Daya Stickers, and then underneath that, I wanted to mark a couple meetings that I had that afternoon, so I used a deco piece, and on top of that, I layered this laptop sticker, and that's from Hey Soul Sticker. Unfortunately, the internet had cut out that day, so I used a quarter box to mark that and this really annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, when I got home that day, I did cook some Brussels sprouts for dinner, so I decided to use a large half box to mark that because I didn't really do anything else after work. Um, that cooking girl is from Happy Daya Stickers, and then at the very bottom, I placed down this flat lay sticker. I believe that's what they're called, and I wanted to use that to mark editing a plan with me, um, which I actually wrote inside that little laptop because I didn't really have any other space on top or below the sticker. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom. That little whiteout header I used is from Planner Just For You. And moving to the top of Wednesday, I first placed down a washi strip, and then I used a work script sticker in my writing from Planner Just For You, and then I placed down a quarter box underneath that. I then moved towards the bottom of my day and started by placing down a quarter box and a popcorn sticker. I believe that's from a shop that's no longer open. And I used that to mark the vice president debate that was on that night. Um, I was so impressed by Kamala Harris. I just love her. She's such a badass. Please excuse my language, but I just love that she was so assertive and didn't let others take advantage of her or speak over her. And that just gave me so much confidence to, you know, also stand up for myself and not let others interrupt or take away from from what I'm saying. Above that, I used a workout time sticker from Planner Just For You and a shoe sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark a workout that I did. And then I placed down a half box and a large deco sticker because I really didn't have anything else to mark on Wednesday and I needed to fill up that space. On the quarter box at the top, I pulled in this bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. again to mark a morning meeting. And then on the half box, I used this really cute coffee sticker from Mr. and Mrs. Mint to mark that I grabbed some coffee and donuts from our staff lounge because our PTA had generously got them as a gift for the staff. And it's always a great day when there are treats in the lounge. Moving on to Thursday, I first placed down a really thin quarter box and pulled in a today header from the kit to create a header. And then I used another little pumpkin fall coffee sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I grabbed a pumpkin spice latte that morning. I put down a quarter box with a laptop sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark a meeting that I had. And then I used a full box underneath that. I placed down a half box at the very bottom and then in the remaining space I used a three bow checklist or I'm sorry a three heart checklist wow now I'm so used to saying bows um, but anyways I used that checklist to mark some things I did after work that really cute happy mail sticker is from Olive Planner Co and then at the very bottom I wanted to mark that I finally finished the hardest puzzle of life I've mentioned it before but it's the one with like 200 white pieces that all look exactly the same I finally finished that puzzle it took so long and that was definitely such an achievement so I marked that using a puzzle sticker from planner just for you and this happy Maru sticker from paper and milk on Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a quarter box and pulled in these balloon stickers from a shop called Me You Sticker Co, I believe. And I also used a happy birthday script in my writing from Planner Just For You. I used that to mark my friend's birthday on Friday. And then um, I grabbed some Thai takeout for lunch that day. So I marked that using a deco sticker from the kit and a pad Thai sticker from Hazel Sticker. Underneath that, I used a phone icon, which I found in my leftover stash, so not quite sure which shop that's from, but I used that to mark getting some new iPads for work, and it was really fun kind of getting to play around with it and have it as a tool for us to use moving forward. My boyfriend and I did date night that evening, and the date night script is from Planner Just For You, and that beer sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. And then at the very bottom, we finally started watching the sixth and unfortunately last season of Schitt's Creek, which was so good. We've now finished it, but I just love that show so much with all my heart. Um, but to mark that, I used a little deco from the kit and this really happy munchkin from Once More With Love. 
Moving on to the weekend, I started by placing down a couple washi strips there at the top, and then I layered the thankful weekend banner that came with the kit. I did have to adjust it a little bit because I think I had originally placed it too high for my liking. Um, but anyways, once I have it down, I go ahead and move on to Saturday. The first thing I placed down is this half box with this sad eggy sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I was super hungover on Saturday. I think I only had like maybe three beers, but I didn't eat a lot for dinner that night so it definitely got to me um, then I used a quarter box with a today header from the kit and a pencil icon from Nikki plus three to mark that I did some lettering for planner just for you that day I then started from the bottom and placed down a quarter box and that little boba sticker is from once more with love I think it's so cute and fit in that space perfectly um, I used a full box on top of that and then in the remaining space I pulled in this car sticker from Nicole Hedge designs to mark that I went and got gas and some groceries the pen that I was using was having some issues I actually switched pens this week um, this one is oh my gosh I don't have it with me anymore but I will link it down below it's not the ink joy that I usually use so so I was having some issues with it. Um, so to fix that, I just wrote gas and groceries on the white space of a half box I wasn't going to be using. And then I just cut it out and placed it right on top. At the very bottom, I just marked getting some boba with my friends, and then before I moved to Sunday, I decided to switch things up a little bit. I think I mentioned earlier that I switch out the full boxes, um, so you see me placing down the Hello Autumn one on Tuesday, and then the Pumpkin Spice one on Saturday. I also switched out the header on Saturday because I felt like I wanted more color in that section. Um, so once I'm done with that, I finally move on to Sunday. I first placed down a laundry sticker and that is from the Sparkly Studio. The laundry time script is from Planner Just For You and that's in my writing. Um, then I placed down a full box and I decided to trim it down a little bit because I wanted some extra room to mark something in the white space. That boba sticker I placed down is from Very Cute Designs. I had boba again on Sunday, which was so good. I rarely have it two days in a row, so I definitely felt like I was spoiling myself. And then underneath that, I used a half box with a board game sticker from Happy Dia Stickers, I believe, to mark that we played some board games with a couple friends that day. That was pretty much it for Sunday because we spent a good part of the day playing games, um, but I still had quite a bit of space left over at the bottom, so I decided to pull in this large pumpkin deco sticker and um, just use that to mark having tacos for dinner, which normally isn't even something I would mark, but because I had all that space, I decided to write it in. Moving back to my sidebar, to track my workouts this week, I decided to use these little heart icons that came in the kit, and I just placed them over the days that I had done a workout, um, and then I go ahead and fill in all my happy moments and my dinners for the week. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and zoom out, and now I'm just showing you guys the stickers that I have left in this kit. I do have quite a bit left, so I'm throwing that into my leftover stash, which I will do a giveaway for in the near future. And like I said, I decided not to pull in any foils, so no Viv Wiggle for this week, but I still decided to do a close-up so you guys can kind of see all the details in this spread. Um, and that is pretty much it for this week. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's been a while since I've posted anything, but I'm so sorry. Work has just been honestly kicking my butt lately. So um, yeah, that is pretty much my life right now. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please let me know if you guys have any questions or just let me know what's going on in your life because I miss you guys. And um, yeah, with that, I'm going to end this video. Thank you again. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.